Oops, this is a continuation of my uh, previous Part A. So I see that I forgot beyond the gas giants we actually have something. And that something beyond the gas giants, poor Pluto. <laughs> I'll make a little sad face here. Pluto gets so dissed. No, no, Pluto is awesome. Okay, so after Neptune, we have another kind of terrestrial object, a rocky object, Pluto. Um, Pluto used to be our ninth planet, and you guys are probably of the age like I am, where um, I learned it, our solar system is having nine planets, and I had to change in 2006. Pluto, some say, was demoted. I say it was just reclassified as something more proper. So right now, um, and for here on out, <laughs> Pluto actually is not a full-fledged planet. It's what we call a dwarf planet, and we'll talk about that, I think, when we talk about Pluto. Um, so the thing about Pluto, actually, if you kind of look at the next item, and maybe you've not heard of these, maybe you have, it's called the Kuiper Belt. And let's see, is it out here? I think so. Okay, kind of see these crumblies? The Kuiper Belt is a bunch of crumblies out um, beyond the gas giants. And they're kind of what we call leftovers. Leftovers. Okay, and we'll talk about the Kuiper Belt um, coming up. But they lie, um, uh, they lie in still what we call the plane of our solar system. They're just out a little bit farther. Um, now, even farther, and they're more crumblies, beyond the Kuiper Belt is what we call the Oort Cloud. Now, the Oort Cloud doesn't lie in what we call the plane of our solar system. Our solar system is kind of like a record, okay, or a frisbee. Um, the Oort Cloud actually is spherical, and it's, it's again, it's crumbly matter. That crumbly matter for bo both the Kuiper Belt and the Oort Cloud are like ices and rocks and stuff like that.